Let us now understand the difference between the DACAMEX task approach and full DACAMEX API approach. Click each tab to view its content. You must review all the tabs before moving forward. The DACAMEX task approach is intended to help you get started and to help simplify your initial ease of use and the channel, timing, and triggering settings, which are all contained in the DACAMEX task. The disadvantage of this approach is that in order for you to modify a channel, timing, or triggering setting, you must make that change in the DACAMEX task. On the other hand, if you use the full DACAMEX API, you use DACAMEX VIs on the block diagram to configure the channel, timing, and triggering settings. You no longer need a separate DACAMEX task object. Instead, you can programmatically configure the settings in the VI. In this example, the user can configure settings such as the channel, the measurement range, the sample rate, and the number of samples to read, all from controls on the VI front panel. As you get more comfortable programming in LabVIEW and need more flexibility, you should use the DACAMEX API. The DACAMEX API programming flow starts with creating a DACAMEX task, configuring the task, starting the task, reading or writing data, and finally, clearing the task. To create the task, use the DACAMEX Create Channel VI. To configure the task, you can use the DACAMEX Timing VI to set the sample rate and use a DACAMEX Triggering VI to set up a trigger and use the DACAMEX Property node to configure additional and advanced settings. As learned before, the DACAMEX Start, Read Write, and Clear VIs work in the same way. When acquiring data from an NI DAC device, you can take the DACAMEX task approach or the full DACAMEX application programming interface API approach. The full DACAMEX API approach replaces the DACAMEX task with DACAMEX VIs.